Well, we know that it is always fun to be able to visit with the parents and Lenny Skoglin, Cindy Skoglin, Eric's old pitching coach is here, his brother, and, and many other friends throughout the stadium. So let me start with Dad because I understand that you are the more nervous of the parents. Is that correct? I'm a little bit better now. He's uh, throwing a great game and throwing a lot of strikes, which is his MO. So I'm a little hey, better, but I would not be telling you the truth if I wasn't. Oh, and, and he finishes, he's walking off the field not too far from you, and, and you're jumping up and cheering and pumping the fist like, like this could be Little League. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a good hit that they uh, had out to right field, but they made a great catch, and uh, defense is playing great for him, so that always helps. All right, Cindy, a lot of times it's, it's mom that is pacing around and more nervous. Oftentimes you were the ones that were taking them to every practice. That was probably the case. So how are you doing so calm? I think I just appreciate the fact that he has actually had the opportunity to step out there on that mound. It didn't matter. This is just a surreal experience. Well, here he is in the big leagues, and, and we understood that he was a, a, an incredible high school pitcher. I think a 0.66 ERA. At what point did he start dreaming about one day being in the big leagues? Actually, I was talking to a friend of mine this week, and he said he remembered him as a little boy throwing a tennis ball saying, I wanted to be a major league pitcher. So he was really young. Okay, so you get a chance to come here. You're in the, in the third row, right behind the Royals. What has the experience been like to watch your son doing this through four innings? You can't even put it into words. It is so special. I'll get teary. <laughs> now, well, I don't want to make you teary. I mean, this is this is a special moment for everyone. Lenny, at what point did the nerves settle down for you? Eric looked like he didn't have any. No, he looked uh, really composed. That's another kind of his M.O., but after that first sitting, I kind of settled down a little bit, but it was, uh, that first sitting was pretty tense. Well, yeah, and he gets the first two, and then a couple on, he's still able to get out of it as Eric Hosmer going to ground out of Miguel Cabrera with the footwork for the second out there. Okay, final thought. What have the last, say, 24 hours plus been like for you when you get that phone call? And, and when did he call? He, it was official uh, yesterday. It was pretty hectic. Uh, my phone was blowing up a lot. Had a lot of friends that were calling and uh, supporting Eric and, and the family, which was really nice because he's worked really hard to have this achievement and I, I just couldn't be prouder but it's 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 been a crazy 24 hours for sure well many many years of good luck and success to Eric and we're really glad to have all the Scoglin family and friends here in Kansas City hey thanks a lot appreciate you taking the time to talk with us all right Lenny thank you Cindy enjoy the moment a very proud mom coach brother and many others thanks so much for joining us thank you so much thank you all right, guys, let's go back upstairs to you. Safe to say, and I've said it many times before, these moments, guys, never get old. He took the words right out of, mouth, out of my mouth. That's exactly what I was going to say. I mean, that just, that never gets old. This, the, the general feelings are the same every time Joel visits with the family, but the way they are articulated are different every time, which makes it special. <laughs> <laughs> Just another strikeout watching Eric on a mound for mom. And every time we.